Thank you, Helen. <laughs> um, I will speak about classifying discrete structures by their stabilizer. This is a TV antenna. So that <laughs> is still good to do things. Do not trash it. <laughs> um, actually, I am a Maple user, not a Maple software developer. And the purpose of my talk is to describe some aspects of my research in combinatorics using Maple and to suggest some possible extensions to the group theory package. OK, power series first. This is a power of x. Oh, yes, I have prepared a one-hour lecture, so that I will skip some transparencies. <laughs> <laughs> this is a monomial in x. You multiply by a, by a scalar. This is a power series in x. It is very well known that uh, classical operations on power series including differentiation and integration, are implemented in computer algebra system. But a more general concept is that of combinatorial power series. Instead of taking powers, you take formal expressions like that. You take a power of x divided by a subgroup of the symmetric group. This is a combinatorial power of x. Combinatorial monomial is a scalar multiple of a combinatorial power. And a combinatorial power series is a sum, possibly infinite, of combinatorial monomials. These kinds of series were called molecular expansions of species by Ye in 1986. But I like more the term combinatorial power series. And these kinds of series, even if there is a subgroup in the denominator, can be added multiply multiplied, substituted, differentiated, integrated. And um, I will give here general lines for dealing with these kinds of series and propose some extensions to the group theory package related to these computations. Uh, example of combinatorial power series, symmetric, symmetric power of x, is you divide by the symmetric group. It is normal to call it symmetric power. Cyclic power, if you divide by cyclic standard cycle. And ordinary power, you divide by identity subgroup of SN. So that ordinary powers are special cases of combinatorial powers of X. And we use notation. You see, uh, ordinary powers of X, uh, power series of X are included in combinatorial power series in X. And uh, you see the classical notation with pairs of double brackets for ordinary power series is replaced, I think Joyal introduced that thing, by pairs of double bars. You see, this denotes combinatorial power series in X. This denotes combinatorial power uh, ordinary power series in X with complex coefficient. Coefficient can be many things, natural number, etc. And these inclusions are compatible with the operations. Now, why do, should we study combinatorial power series, CPS for short? <laughs> is that, but the answer is, is that they, because they encode classes, more specifically species of combinatorial structures, together with the various construction between them, <laughs> taking into account the, the automorphism group or the stabilizer groups of the structures. It, take, it takes into account. And it can be implemented on CA system, systems. For example, if you take the class of all dodeca on dodecahedron graphs, it lives on 20, each dodecahedron graph lives, lives on 20 vertices. You can take one up to 20. And this kind of graphs, the, all these graphs, are encoded by this combinatorial power where H is the stabilizer or automorphism <coughs> group of the structure. Here it is generated by three permutations, the expanded into cycles. And if you change the numbers, of course, you, the stabilizer will be conjugate to, the new stabilizer will be conjugate to the stabilizer which has been computed by group and graph software. So that this motivates the following definition. Two combinatorial powers are said to be similar or combinatorially equal, and we write equality. 
you will need to collect similar terms. So that the word similar is interesting. If and only if H and K are conjugate subgroups. As soon as you have two conjugate subgroups, the combinatorial powers are said to be equal. You see conjugate in this sense. In terms of generators, it is very easy to find the generator of the conjugate of H by two by uh, simple way. I skipped some, tra some tra transparencies. Now there are suggest suggestive names. You see, the class of all linearly ordered n set modulo permutation H of their n trees is encoded by this. I said the class. It will be the species later, but it is called the class. If you divide by symmetric group, a list modulo uh, per, uh, any permutation is a set. Okay? So that Xn over Sn denotes the class or encodes the class of all n sets. E is for ensemble in French. E is ensemble. And it will be related to exponential functions. So that is a good notation for sets. One element set is x. Empty set is 1, x to the 0 to power divided by the trivial symmetry group. The class of all oriented and sets are oriented simplexes then you divide by the alternating group. Oriented cycles, you divide by cycle. Non-oriented and gone, you divide by the dihedral group. And the class of all linearly ordered set, the identity is the only automorphism of a linearly ordered set, is denoted by Xn. You see this ordinary power series are connected with linearly ordered n sets. If you take n equal 1, 2, 3, etc., we have the geometric series which encodes the, uh, the, all the linearly ordered set. Identity is the automorphism. You see, cycles, the class of all oriented cycles is denoted by this combinatorial power series. You divide by the, for n cycles, you divide by this. It is normal because you see a cycle on three elements is an uh, uh, equivalent class of cycles modul uh, of least modulo cyclic shifts. Because it is normal to denote like that. Now, uh, the, the a combinatorial species is a class of finite structures on arbitrary finite sets, which is closed under arbitrary relabelings along bijection. S element of F, any element of F of the class is called the F structure. You see, the class of all free rooted trees, the class T of free rooted trees is a species because if you take any rooted tree on a set and you put a, take a bijection between the first set and another, you can transport, you can relabel the, along the bijection the previous rooted tree. Actually, Joyal introduced the concept of species as an uh, endofunctor of the category of finite sets and bijection. I will not go into detail about category theory. <laughs> and uh, you see, this is a graphical representation of a general F structure. You put the set, you put the letter F to denote the class, and S equal to this means this is a generic F structure. A generic structure on A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. On A, B, C, D, which belong to class F. If F is cycle, this will denote a cycle. If, S, if F is the class, the species of all sets, this will denote a set. You see, <coughs> now two discrete structures are said to be similar if they have conjugate stabilizer in a sense, when the, uh, the underlying sets are arbitrarily relabeled by 1 to n. And equivalently, it turns out that the stabilizer are conjugate if and only if they share the same stabilizer after suitable relabeling. It is not difficult to, to verify this. You see, these are all the rooted trees of up to five elements. These are up to, up, up to um, automorphism. Now, these three are similar. They are not uh, isomorphic, 
but they are similar because if you interchange one and two in each, this is the only, apart from identity, the only automorphism group. They share the same automorphism group of S5 generated by one, two. The root must be fixed. This, the root must be fixed, and these two can be interchanged. This one must be fixed, this one must be fixed. In each of these non-isomorphic rooted trees, the, the Sabalazar is the same, and they are not isomorphic. You see, this, the combinatorial power series of rooted trees can be written in the first few times, can be written in this form. You see, the tree here is the tree here. And they share S2, the symmetric subgroup S2 of X5, they share. Here, this one is alone. It has a coefficient 1 in front. Because if you interchange 1, 2, you must interchange 3 and 4 at the same time in order to have an automorphism. So that this is generated by this permutation, which interchange 1, 2, and 3, 4 at the same time. Okay. So, so that you see the rooted trees, this is a very general kind of series. It, it contains a, every other kind of underlying series, counting, et cetera, up to, uh, up to relabeling, et cetera. You see, there is a, just a, a, a general, this is a general, uh, this is a general situation. Every species can be expanded as a combinatorial power series, or so-called a molecular expansion. You see, you, you take for each n, you take xn divided by stabilizer of the structure, and the structure S uh, runs through up to isomorphy all the f structures on n element. This is a notation. And you see, if you take for a uh, given n this polynomial here, combinatorial polynomial, you call it fn. So that this is decomposition up to cardinality. And if you collect similar term, you have a coefficient here, okay? And collecting similar term means that the coefficient of xn over h is the number of f structures on n element, given elements, for, uh, which are non-isomorphic but similar with a subgroup conjugate to h. <laughs> this is the nature of the coefficient. You see, by collecting similar terms, you can restrict H to run through a system of representatives of the conjugacy classes of subgroups of F Sn. There are Cn conjugacy classes, and the sequence Cn is in Sloan Plouffe sequence. Plouffe was my student, incidentally. <laughs> Sloan Plouffe Encyclopedia. And it has been computed, all these explicit uh, subgroups, up to 18, n equal to 18 by Holt. Now, uh, we, not, we need to test conjugacy class, and the, the conjugacy of subgroups to collect similar terms. It is very easy to write a procedure. Actually, uh, incidentally, the procedure conjugate subgroup is not in Maple 19. It is on conjugate elements is in Maple. It would be nice to have a, sim a good, uh, optimal, this is a very simple computation uh, program, which I made. It would be interesting to have it in the group theory package. I say I ask it gap. I'm not an expert in gap. <laughs> I, I ask it gap to give me lists of conjugacy classes of subgroups. For example, for symmetric group S S5, there are 19 uh, subgroups uh, representative of the of the uh, <coughs> conjugacy classes. For uh, six, there are 66. But you see, it becomes quite long, the list of conjugacy classes, of representative of conjugacy classes. If you take maple, you, it will work correctly only up to five, not six. But you see, it gives the good number 19, which is small. And if you put six, you will have 52 instead of 56. The, and the, I don't understand this. <laughs> this. This group is not solvable, etc. <laughs> Experts will, can explain. <laughs> um, fortunately, the whole set of conjugacy class of subgroups of SN can be greatly simplified by making use of simple building block subgroups, which we call atomic 
are connected subgroups of SN. In order to introduce this kind of subgroups, which are more special than all the subgroups up to conjugacy, we need to describe some operation between species. Given species, given big classes of structures, F and G, 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 G. Um, we can build new species, new classes of structure using these kinds of operations. And the general uh, structure belonging to each new class has this, have this shape. The a general structure of the kind F plus G, plus G, for example, in five elements, is either a F structure on the set or a J structure. If the two structures are equal, you take distinct copy in order to have a real plus sign. Um, F times G are, con are, are the Cauchy product of two species, F and G. The structure, general structure, has this shape. You split this underlying set into two parts. You put a F structure on one part and a J structure on the complementary part. And um, it is an ordered pair. We'll see examples. F Cartesian product G structure is, or we can say, the Adama product of two species. The general structure are this kind. It is different of this. You put the F structure on the whole set and a J structure on the same whole set, whole, whole set and you take another pair. This is one. F cross J structure on the set. This is only one. This is general structure. It is not the class. It is the shape of the structure. F of J. It is F of J is the good word for representing things. It is a F F structure of J structure. It is a F structure put on J disjoint J structures. This is called the F of J structure. F prime is interesting. This is differentiation. You have a big class of structure and a class and a species. You can make a new species with it, which is called F prime, the derivative of F. In order to do to make a structure of this kind F prime on a set, for example, on a five element set, you have to add an extra element, a phantomic extra element, and you put an F structure on the augmented set. This is called a F prime structure on the blue point. But it is an F structure on the six points. But it is called the F prime on the five element set. The underlying set of this F prime structure is these elements, not this one. As I have F prime, you see, and the chain rule works. I don't go into detail, but the chain rule works. Uh, now, the, as I said before, this is a very general kind of series, the combinatorial power series because it, it, it includes all the classical series. You see the cycle index series, you take simply the same coefficient and the polynomial, polya polynomial of the group H, which is implemented in Maple. And it turns out if you expand in, with uh, an infinite number of variables, the coefficient is the number of F structure on N, which, for which sigma is an automorphism, and the exponents here are the number of cycles of say, size k of the permutation coefficient. The exponent of x2 is sigma2, etc. And, and um, this includes other series, the exponential generating series, which count the structures themselves, not up to, not up to automorphism, the, the structure in themselves. It turns out to be a specialization of this cycle. And it turns out you take this combinatorial and you collect, you collect terms uh, by dividing order of the subgroup, etc. There is a tilde power series, which is an ordinary power series, which count number of a structure up to isomorphism that is unlabeled. This is a subcase of this. All these are less refined than this one. Now you see, I uh, give very rapidly some examples of these three underlying. <laughs> uh, we see for set the underlying exponential counting series. There is one set for each cardinality is the exponential function. 
So because you take one for fn, it gives the exponential function, etc. This is a cycle, a, a table, table. Cycles, the, the logarithm can arise, and for the cycle index series of the cycles, <laughs> is the Euler function uh, occurs. Infinite product for the tilde series of permutations. Permutations and list, order list, are the same, have the same underlying exponential, but not the same tilde. This is the partition function of Ramanujan for the tilde, which count permutations up to isomorphism, that this is, <coughs> this is partitions, etc. The z is the is this z. But this one above, you see? Yeah. Uh, given two species, the series, the classical series, can be very easily computed. They are compatible with the operation. You see, if you cross product two species and you take the series, counting series, it is the same as the Adamar product of the two series. You see, the, the series associated with, deri with the derivative of a species, the derivative of the fo formal power series, there is some coming analogous operation with these. But what happened in, at the level of CPS, this, is, this will include all this. Before doing that, I will give examples of how this kind of thing works. You see, permutations are sets of oriented cycles. Everybody knows that. Permutation, permutation is a set of cycles. So that the species of permutation is the that of sets into which you have put cycles. You get for free this thing because the series of permutation is 1 over 1 over minus x. Series of sets is the exponential. So that uh, automatically you have this. So that you have the counting, by taking log, you have the counting series for cycles. But permutations are also sets followed by derangement. Because if you have a permutation, which is a collection of cycles, you take apart the fixed point. The uh, fixed point forms a, forms a set. The permutation is a species S. Derangements are permutations which derange all elements. So that you get from this drawing, you get this combinatorial equation between species, and it automatically gives this relation because S, the underlying series, is this. Sets under underlying, underlying series exponential. So that you get for free this, the classical hat problem for free, the classical hat problem which count the derangement of hats, <laughs> classical thing. Other things, this is very classical. Rooted trees, free rooted trees are singleton followed by a set of rooted trees. You see, you take apart the, the root, and you see a set. So that the species of rooted trees is that of singletons, which is x, followed by sets of rooted trees. This is a set of rooted trees. For free, you have this. Now you have for free difficult formulas also. Endo functions are, is, are the same as permutations of rooted trees, because the sagittal drawing of an endo function looks like that. It looks like rooted trees, which are dancing to go down the round dance. <laughs> so that endo functions are, are permutations of rooted tree. You get for free that the, the series of endo functions, which is easily seen to have coefficient n to the n, because the n weight for each point to point into the set <laughs> of n points. And the rooted trees from inver Lagrange inversion theorem are very, very easily seen to be this n to the n minus 1. And you, get, you have for free this identity, which perhaps um, Jeffrey, uh, <coughs> David Jeffrey can, can prove. But it is not evident to prove uh, analytically. An uh, example of derivative, derivative, I will have to take a few minutes, or not 10 minutes. But, uh, for example, the derivative of the species of oriented cycles is that of lists. Why? Because if you want to put a C prime structure on five point A, B, C, D, as I said before, you have to have add a phantomatic extra point and to make a cycle on the whole set. But the phantomatic extra point 
uh, generates a list on the remaining points. So that C prime is L. So that the derivative log, log 1 over minus x is this. But with this, we know in advance. <laughs> but this is because of this. <laughs> the derivative of the linear orders is the square of the linear order. Why? Because if you put a linear order on an augmented set, you see there are seven points. This is a L prime structure on the seven points because you have to add an automatic above. The extra point divides the cycle into two, uh, the li big list into two lists. That L prime is equal to L square. So the derivative of the series of L prime, the derivative of the series of L prime, <laughs> let's go, the derivative is one over this. This is a known formula, but this is because of this. The, it works correctly for monomia. <laughs> You see, the, the derivative of species x4 of linear order on four elements, I, be, as, as I said before, monomials are linear orders, uh, is four times the, the species of x3 because there are four places to put the extra point. I don't go into detail, but it gives this formula. The derivative of the species e4 of four element sets is e3. There is no factor in front because if you take uh, any set, you add another point, it amounts to the, the give the same set um, as, as far as we take all sets. But if you fix cardinality 3 for the set on which you want to put, a, um, et, et cetera, it is good. It is correct. <laughs> now, operations on CPS. This is very easy. Addition, sum is very easy. You add it 10 by 10. Product is by bilinearity and collecting bi similar terms. It is not difficult uh, to see that if you take two combinatorial power series which represent two species, you by bilinearity you need only to compute this kind of thing, product of two combinatorial powers. It turns out to be another combinatorial power on a, another group. The other group is not difficult to find because if h is given by generators by little h, big K by little k, then the subgroup you have to put here in order to multiply these two is the you take the generators, but the, for the case you, put, you take the k stars. It is very easy to see that k i star is obtained by k i. By adding n, this is the n here to h of its elements. This is a drawing explaining. And it uh, <coughs> turns out that this is called the star product or ex external product by y. It is isomorphic to h cross k, but uh, it is living in s n plus 1, plus m. It is very easy to implement, you see. H equal this, AK equal this, H is a subgroup of S5. This one goes to 6, but it is a subgroup of S7 in Maple notation. And the uh, star product is easy to program. Okay. Um, now, some molecular species or combinatorial monomial powers are factorizable, and some are not. You see, X squared is X times X because an x square structure is an x structure followed by x structure. This is two and a, a pair other pair. <laughs> um, sets of three elements cannot be split. Cycles and three elements cannot be split as a project. If you take x square, x cubed divided by one, two, you permit one, two, but the third is fixed. It is x times e2, you see. Um, and he called this, those which are not factorizable, not factorizable, he calls it atomic species. Now, I don't go into detail. There is a characterization of atomic species. This is a small program. You have to take a hyperstable subset of the underlying of the set N, and I don't go into detail. You see, these are all atomic species, atomic subgroups which are not factorizable by star product, up to five elements. 
on four elements, there is, five, there is six atomic subgroup, and in five elements, there is also six. <laughs> this is a, a, an interesting sequence. Each uh, subgroup, atomic subgroup, gives rise to a combinatorial power, and we have special names for the associated species. This one, for example, turns out to, with this group, turns out to be dihedral group. This is poly polygons, non-oriented polygons on five elements. They are curious things, the Cushion species, I don't go into detail. But each atomic subgroup gives rise to, we can say, an atomic species or an atomic um, <coughs> uh, power, <laughs> power, combinatorial power. My brother Jacques, this is quite old, gave um, um, a list, visual representation of the atomic species. You see, five element sets, poly polygon on five elements, oriented cycles, all oh, these are atomic species. And this is the whole table up to five. It has been extended by my student to seven. Now, you see, the, you see the, the, the list of uh, conjugacy classes of subgroups is bigger than the list uh, representative of atomic uh, uh, conjugacy classes uh, subgroup. And uh, you see they are less atomic. The atomic has been computed by uh, Norton and Pfeiffer uh, up to 19 by based on the 18, based on the 18 by uh, Holt. Okay. It turns out the atomic, the number of atomic is the exponent here and the number of uh, general subgroup is the CN here. It turns out that Ye in 86 showed that every molecular species or every combinatorial uh, power can be written in a unique way as a product commutative product of two isomorphism of atomic species, so that atomics are sufficient to, to write any uh, molecular. And it turns out by addition, by summation, that the, this is the, the class of all species with, double, with pairs of double bar, is the same as the ordinary power series of the atomic. This makes maple very easy to use. Ordinary power series in an infinite number of variables which are the atomic. If you take only x, this is the normal power series. Okay. And um, you can take a, a, a integer coefficient, possibly negative or complex. With, a, with allowing negative, you have virtu joyal virtual species. I don't go into detail, but this is important. Now, how to compute the CPS of a, deri the de of a derivative? It is not too difficult. You have to do it term by term, and it turns out that there is a method to compute the subgroup. I think uh, I will answer perhaps some question about how to do that. And it is easy to program with Maple. You see, if you take this permutation group, it's the, the derivative of the associated power, combinatorial power will have, will have this shape. Actually, these three are equal because this subgroup has conjugate. It is three times this plus two times plus this one. If you take permutation identity subgroup, you have x8. The derivative is x times x7. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> And the, derivat the derivative of the decahedron um, group turns out to be this one. And the, actually, since the the, this law is, works, the derivative of a product is a sum of things, so that you need only to differentiate atomic species to know the derivative of it, everything. You see, this is a table of atomic, this is a table of derivative. An atomic may, this is a curious atomic one, may have a sum as derivative. Maybe not atomic, this is not atomic a sum. Um, it is uh, even not a molecular. <laughs> you see, you teach maple how to differentiate all the atomics, and then you have, uh, <laughs> yes. 
Um, and you have this table, which is easy to program. The cross product is, can be used by, by taking uh, the um, <coughs> double cassettes. The substitution takes into account the um, red product and general red product. I have references for the details. Substitution of CPS may be used, uh, useful for spatial atomic species. You see, the species has two element set. You can substitute any species in it. This is the addition formula. Don't go to detail. It is useful for binary trees. In, cy in cycles, you can substitute some sums of molecular, and it gives this. The Mobius function uh, enters into. And then, uh, this is my final. <laughs> you can use spatial tools uh, when the species involves subsets of the atomic. The species of rooted trees doesn't involve uh, all atomic. It involves what we can say set-like atomic. Um, usually, to compute this, you have to iterate this expression, which comes from this. But be careful, because this is not the exponential function. This is the CPS of sets. This is not 1 over n factorial x to the n, so that it is not easy to compute this. But I have found a way to express sets as ordinary exponential. It is this. Sets are the ordinary exponential of a certain kind of species which is computed recursively like Newton way. And uh, it is linear. This is the main point. These exponents here are species which are linear. This is very important. And automatically, you have the species of rooted trees, uh, recursive, very easy, man manageable way over the divisor of j. To, and it is easy to program. You see, these are the rooted trees up to five elements, explicitly uh, written in terms of uh, set-like species. And you see, for 15 points, few seconds, you have this. 30 points, I have computed a few minutes. <laughs> it is very efficient. I, have, I am finished. Because <laughs> this is the suggestions, additions to the group theory package. You see, in the group theory package, there are CN, DN, SN already. I suggest to add the conjugacy class of subgroups of SN, representative, not the whole lattice. Atomic, I suggest to add R conjugate subgroups in the package, double cassette, groups to class, to conjugacy class, given in any subgroup, which is this conjugacy class representative in an efficient way. I suggest to add the star product, derivative, Group to atomic, there is a similar procedure which is direct factors and group theory package, which is not exactly the same as factorizing in atomic. Uh, I, I suggest, suggest to add spatial expansion for spatial spe species. And by contacting Liam Nocton, you, you can have a list of these. Very, He's very good in computation. <laughs> OK, it is finished. The, the, we can extend to many variables all these things. This is another story. <laughs> and these are the, I took uh, my 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> Thank you.